Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, starting off this face raw again because, and in a crappy shirt because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a mess of myself today with the kind of makeup I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> um, I'm using some sparkles and everything like that. This is going to be my very first holiday Christmas look. I guess you could say Christmas holiday. I'm gonna say holiday just because everybody celebrates different holidays, not just Christmas anyways. So, if you want to see this holiday look, then Wait, so just to keep start watching. off, my brows are already done. Um, I am going to be doing my eyeshadow first, just because I'm going to be doing a lot of dark colors. I usually don't do this, but recently I've been finding that even though I've been doing my foundation first, I still do have that fallout that comes with the, with the eyeshadows, anyways. So I am going to be doing my eyeshadow first. Some of you are like. Thank God. <laughs> okay, so to start off, I'm just gonna prime my lids a little bit with my concealer here. I'm gonna put a little tap, a little tap, and just gonna blow that out just to get a nice neutral base going. Now today, I think I'm going to be doing like a mauve golden look, not a mauve, but like a deeper looking thing. <laughs> okay, so to start off, I'm going to be dipping into the color Raw Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Looks like these. Okay, I'm gonna dip my blending brush into that. I am using a tapered blending E40 by Sigma, and we're gonna place this in the crease area. And you wanna blend, 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 blend all the shadows. I'm gonna show you that you need. Blend, 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 blend. Make sure everything is completely blended because we're gonna be going in with some deep colors. I think I'm also gonna be doing a cut crease for this. So that'll be another addition to this. That'll be fun. Because I don't think I have shown you guys how I do a cut crease. And I also want to re-mention that in blending, you always want to make sure you're holding your brush at the end of the brush. The end or a little bit, a little bit up from the end if you can't hold it right. That's okay. Um, but you don't want to apply too, too much pressure. So for that, you want to have a light, steady hand when blending your eyeshadow. One, because your eyes are a very, very, very delicate part of your own body. And even though it is just the skin, that skin is very, very sensitive. You don't want to hurt that guy. So, next, I'm gonna be dipping into the color All Star in the Subculture palette, and that is gonna go in our, I'm gonna go in a little bit closer. That's gonna go in our crease as well. Don't worry too much about the outer corners because we still have to do foundation and everything like that. So if they get messy, that's okay because we're gonna clean it up anyways. So here we go, dipping into All Star. And you have to remember, if you have the um, Subculture palette, before I start, I'm keeping this very low. Very, very low. Because it's a darker color. Again, using very, 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 very light pressure on the eye. And just going back and forth blending. 
did not pick up too much product because I've mentioned this before when I bought the subculture palette um, for these shadows they're lightly pressed shadows you do not want to press too hard into them I literally press once and there is stuff all over so they do work they work but you just have to have a light hand again on this eye staying low very low getting most of the product on the outer corner that's where it's gonna go that's where it's gonna stay this is a very um deep nighttime look definitely for Christmas time so if that is what you're looking for you came to the right place and you can always go back in if you need a little bit more one came out a little darker than the other it's certainly okay this is what we have so far. I am loving it. So cool. And it's gonna look so much better when we have foundation on and everything. Okay. So now comes the fun part. I think I'm gonna use that color, definitely. That one or this one. Hmm. I don't know which color to use. Should I go lighter? I think I want to go lighter. Okay, so what we're going to do for the lid, we're going to do a cut, cut crease. So how to do that, I um, take a brush, just a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put my concealer not too much on the brush and you're going to start carving it out and drawing on your own eyelid like this Now, I'm not doing the whole thing. Because I want the outer third to be darker. Okay, very good. Now your eye should look something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And it's gonna all blend together anyway. I'm just patting it down. I like to pat it down just to get it tacky a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to go in with the color Primavera um, from Anastasia Be Beverly Hills in the Modern Renaissance palette. I am going to do this with um, my finger just because I think it works better for me. <laughs> so here we go. We're just going to put this on the lid. Right in there. And it's gonna look a little crazy at first. But don't worry. It'll be fine. Cause we're gonna blend, blend, blend all over again anyway. Now this isn't a perfect cut crease. This is just a cut crease in the very beginning of the eye. And you only do a cut crease 
well I only do a co crease when I want the eyeshadow to really pop and stand out okay all right now that we have that on I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to pick up more of that raw sienna and I'm going to take that and start blending over top. Not too much, but enough to really put the two together. Just like that. All right, guys, there you have it. These are the eyes. And now it looks a little crazy because we're not done, but that is okay. We are going to finish up the face. I'm gonna bring you out a little bit. That's the bit, there we go. Okay, now let me, um, I'm going to do my face the same usual way as I always do. I'm not using anything else. So because of that, I'm going to make this video not so long. Um, I am going to show you my lip because I'm going to do um, a lip option for you guys if you'd like. So yeah, stick around and I'll be right back with the Okay guys, product. so I have on my whole face. I did the... Um, Eyeliner and everything like that. So I'm gonna bring you in. Oh, I'm so sorry. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in pretty close. All right, this is what the eye look has come to be. Just like this. I am super happy with it. I think it came out great, actually. Um, definitely festive for the holidays. Um, if you guys have any questions at all on it, just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely, uh, help you out with that. I wanted to keep you in a little bit close because I'm going to highlight now and do my under eye. Um, I want to highlight, uh, with, uh, a Vermeer from the Beverly Hills palette. If it would focus. Oh, come on. You were just focused. Stop it. Come on. Look at him. He wants to focus. That's actually hurting my eyes. Okay. 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 Focus. Where was I now? Just this close. Okay. Alright. I guess I can only be this close. Well, it's still blurry. Well, let me sit back a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just doing the inner corners here. Just to make them pop a bit because I am going to put um, something on the bottom lash line a bit. <laughs> I'm also going to put Vermeer up here, a little bit for a brow highlight, not too, too much though, just a bit, as you can see, just a little bit. Okay, now for bottom lash line, I'm going to take a pencil brush, oh, do we want to stay focused now? Okay, it wants to stay focused, okay. And I'm going to take raw sienna a little bit on the bottom lash line. Here we go. Just to have something there, um, not too much.
okay just a little bit i don't want to put too too much on the bottom because i think that takes away from the top i feel like just oh just a little bit um and i don't like that i don't like it at all so yeah that is it for the eyes i'm just gonna pop on some bottom lash mascara and then ooh. gonna pop on some bottom lash mascara And then I'm gonna do a lip. Now, I'm keeping the lip light. I don't wanna do a dark lip at all. So, what do I have? I think I'm gonna keep it glossy. Um, just cause I'm not in the mood for really, actually, no. I wanna use a lip paint by Heart. This is in. Actually, no, I don't. That's too dark. I lied. I'm sticking with the gloss. Just stick with what you know, okay? Sticking with gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Okay, here we go. And I'm just putting this on my lips. Just as you would apply regular lip gloss. Now this stuff is thick. Okay. I wish I had like a cute little like Christmas outfit to wear right now with this look. Okay, but I'm broke so can't do that. Anyway, so yeah, this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am actually really, really, really happy with it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, again, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.